And now everything that was on this phone, including my background, is back on this phone and everything is downloading all my apps. Everything is kind of loading back in. It's organized the same way that it was before. <laughs> Quick setup here, open up my device, unlock to continue. All right, so first you just put them near each other and then you're gonna be waiting for the other phone. So if you wanna transfer your phone data from this phone to this phone, you're just gonna hold it over the phone like that and boom, it takes a picture of this little cool dusty stuff and it's going. Be using for me. I'm gonna enter a passcode. So, so you enter your passcode. Finishing on new phone, and it's just setting it up. It's that easy when you get a new phone. That's really cool. I still need to clean this phone off too. So now it's gonna garbage this phone up with all my old photos and stuff like that. But I'd rather get this taken care of first. And I guess delete later. Oh, it seems like a pain in the butt. I probably should have not be doing this right now, but setting up new eSIM. Transfer from other phone. Let's do it. Okay. And then you've got to double click on your other phone to confirm. It's really that easy. Apple makes it so easy to move all your stuff over. It's just, I, I don't, it just tells you exactly what you need to do. And here it is, that's activating, it's finishing up what it's doing on this phone, and you just wait while it moves everything on your old iPhone over to your brand new iPhone so I can use my new iPhone 15 Pro. And of course, you know, while this is going on, I might as well talk to you about this. Um, if you don't have a case yet, you should consider cases. I got this like, Beijin case or Spigen or whatever because it was available. I love the green. I think it looks dead sexy and I thought the green and the blue would kind of match really well. It seems like a nice little case for 25 bucks. I mean for a cheap case and I saw a video of a guy throwing it off the top of a building and it survived. So that was enough for me with a glass screen protector on it, mind you. So cell, cell phone cellular is set up. I'm going to hit continue and uh, it has a software update, so I'm going to go ahead and update now and let the uh, software update. And you got to go through all the things and hit agree. Um, and then the other phone, your old phone, now says enjoy your new iPhone. And then you can literally just hit done. And now you're back to, you know, your old iPhone, whatever. Now my this new one is upgrading software. So I feel like the ecosystem for Apple is just so easy to use. So easy. But... For this, I wanted to make a video so that you can like know what to do. Like, if you're not tech savvy person, I, I'm a I'm a tech in a in a for a school board, so I I kind of just figure things out. I didn't know, I didn't read, I didn't Google this. I just kind of did it in front of you right now, so that I can help you walk through the process and figure out what's how to set up your phone for the first time. But it's literally that easy. Just follow the prompts. Make sure you turn your other phone on. It'll the new phone will detect it. Then you just go through the motions, you scan the little cool circular ball blurry dust thing, and it just transfers everything onto your new phone. So when I open this phone up and it's done with the software update, it is literally gonna have everything that I had on this phone will be on this phone and I won't. It, 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 just did, everything, it did everything for me. I didn't have to like do anything. Ooh, it says verifying update, getting closer. Oh. All right, so finally we get back to this, I get appearance. I'm gonna go, yep. And now I want to set up with another device again. All right, fine. Continue. Yeah, Paul, continue. And then it walked you through doing Face ID. So, all right, get started. 
See this sexy face? Scan my face. Cool. All right. So it's now set up. Continue. Hmm. Agree. Signing in, moving all my stuff over. It's cool. It's real cool. Make this my new phone. Continue. Oh, and so if you have any cards in your Apple wallet, you're going to have to verify the security code on the back. So, adding the card to my wallet, my new wallet, I guess. Um, I'll add that debit card later. I don't know. And then it gets to the point where it's transferring data, and it'll give you a time limit. So it's saying, let's see how long it's going to take. I had to know that my phone is maxed out of memory. Like I said, I probably should have waited on this, but let's see what estimated time frame it gives me. 10 minutes. Okay. 10 minutes to transfer about 122 gigs of stuff off. Oh, there it goes. 33 minutes. Is it going to go up anymore? 34 minutes. 35 minutes. I think it's realizing it's going to take quite a bit of time. But anyway, once this finishes, I will tell you what the next step is once this is done. 35 minutes later. Whew, all right, so finally, it came back up, so you just gotta put your password in, or your face, and it says, restore completed. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue, and see that everything is back on my phone. Let's see, Surrey, continue, yep. Silent mode, yep, continue. Oh, and it's showing you about the action button now, so you can customize this now by hitting customize, or you can just move on and say, not now. I'm going to leave it not now and go back to it later. And it says, welcome to the iPhone. So let's see. Uh, yes, we'll use that. All right. Swipe up to get started. And now everything that was on this phone, including my background, is back on this phone and everything is downloading all my apps. Everything is kind of loading back in. It's organized the same way that it was before. So there's definitely going to be some work there. I don't know why the iMovie, it looks like some of the, there's some apps that are actually added, installed back on again. Um, and I'll have to move those around. So if there are any new apps that have been on here that were not on here before, you just have to delete them. But everything is loading up and installing just like I had before. Even my little widget that I had for YouTube in the right upper corner is installing. So it's really cool. I love the fact that it's so easy to get your phone looking exactly the way your other phone was. Getting a new phone and upgrading couldn't be easier than it is now. That is how easy it is. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. Hit that like button. And if you want to see more content on the iPhone 15 Pro, you know where to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, do all the YouTube things, and you guys know that I will see you in the future. I no longer have service on this phone, and it's still updating. Brutal. 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 Just plain old brutal. Man. Come on.